and you guys are deeply entrenched in, in these AI related products. So I want to get your take on one of the top stories today and that is SoftBank is selling out its entire stake in NVIDIA and this really fuel, fueling more concerns about this AI bubble of valuations getting ahead of the fundamentals. Now you're right in the middle of it and you're watching the demand of course seeing these orders for the AI servers that you make. Do you have concerns about an AI bubble? Okay, uh, I think this is a quite interesting question. Uh, actually, inside the industry, still have a lot of discussion. But from my point of view, we uh, still see uh, our business growing so fast. And from my opinion, the bubble is only a bubble if it bursts. I saw right now, still a lot of money they are willing to do the invest. And uh, a lot of application and a new business model coming out. For example, recently, the OpenAI just announced they have a collaboration with the Walmart to develop the new uh, AI-enabled shopping experience. I think this is a very good example. So from my point of view, I personally uh, relatively optimistic. I think at least in the short term, there will be no any bubble issue. Give us an update on uh, the AI servers, the GB300 and the B300. They started shipping in September. How are they doing compared to the GB200? Are you able to share with us uh, some metrics? Can you quantify it? Okay, actually, uh, we are the first uh, batch ship those uh, GB300 and the B300 product to the market. And uh, in the past, the major focus product is the GB200. Uh, actually, the GB300, the growth rate is uh, so good. So we reached the over 100% growth rate. And right now, the, our AI server business uh, occupy ASUS in-house share is uh, close to uh, 20%. And uh, before the Q2 is only around 10 to 15%. So the extra uh, portion is the uh, major contribute by the GB300. Uh, Jeb uh, Jensen was in uh, Taiwan just at the weekend and uh, he raised up Rubin and he was watching the production over at TSMC. Have you guys received any orders for this new, this latest technology GPU? What can you share? When do you expect it to go into production and then to begin shipping? Uh, actually, we have long co-working history with the uh, NVIDIA. So every new generation, I think we are the uh, first batch uh, company we can co-work uh, with NVIDIA. But right now, for those uh, new products you mentioned, we still uh, need to wait their uh, release schedule. So please stay tuned. We'll update it later. Let's talk about your AI PCs. Uh, it's expected to make up 30% of your total shipments this year. Uh, but of course, that also depends on the definition of an AI PC. Uh, there's an Intel definition and a Microsoft one. Uh, can you give us an update on your projections for AI PC? Okay, just as you mentioned, they have two definitions for the AI PC. Uh, if we are talking about the Microsoft Copilot Plus PC, uh, we think this year, the uh, for the market share is around eight to 10%. And for C in the next year, the Copilot Plus PC will occupy over 20% or more. But if you are talking about the Intel definition, I think a little bit different. Uh, the Intel definition only need the uh, PC with the NPU. So for this kind of definition, the Air PC market share will around 30% this year. And for C in the next year, uh, the market share were around 50 to 60 percent. Uh, I think ASUS is quite strong uh, in the AIPC uh, market. Uh, for the whole year right now, we have over 25 percent market share. We will try our best to uh, keep this uh, number one position in the market. Companies are navigating President Trump's tariff policies uh, for your U.S. destined products. You've moved your production lines to Southeast Asia. I want to get a chance to know whether or not you're able to properly assess these destinations, these countries and their levies, and whether or not you're going to be able to pass on some of these increased costs. Uh, actually, 
uh, because the tariff, we adjust our production side a little bit. Uh, before the tariff, uh, most of uh, our production capacity is uh, in the China. Uh, actually, China is a very important market, and uh, we have our R&D and the sales team in there. So we only move a small portion of our production capacity to the uh, APEC. And uh, of course, in the beginning, we need to uh, have extra cost, but uh, because uh, compared to the total uh, quantity, uh, we can eliminate those kind of uh, costs up. So we still can provide uh, competitive pricing in the U.S. market. Uh, 